Council member Kathy Tobo expects a full report of ideas on her desk sometime this week. And some of the input comes from a group of downtown property owners fed up with the violence. They called a meeting with city and state leaders and KXAN's Brianna Hollis tells us how it went this morning. We've got to get rid of, rid of the violence. Gary Manley has owned Iron Cactus since 1996. It's worse now than it ever has been. Austin police say they've seized 174 illegal guns from downtown alone since the beginning of this year, including five within the last week. Manly, along with several other business and property owners, hit a breaking point earlier this month after two people were shot inside the lodge within a week, and days later, someone was shot at the end of the same block at 6th and Neches. Curbing crimes like these, the focus of an hour long virtual meeting between business owners, city leaders, police, and the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission. The talk included Council Member Kathy Tovo, whose district includes downtown. It was, I believe, a you know, a productive conversation. It is one of many. APD's downtown commander was also a part of this meeting, and he says input like this is so important and so important that it's consistent because it's really going to take the entire community to curb violence on 6th Street. And so, I mean, there's no magic wand that you can just wave and uh, and get this to stop. TABC is still investigating the shootings at the lodge. It can only suspend or revoke a bar's liquor license if there's evidence staff enabled violence by encouraging fights, not stopping them quickly enough, or knowingly allowing patrons to flash guns. It's hard to get people to come uh, eat at your restaurant when they're afraid of, uh, you know, what might happen to them. In Austin, Brianna Hollis, KXAN News. Planning documents obtained by KXAN investigators shed some light on the ideas the city is considering to try to make the 6th Street Entertainment District safer and a little more welcoming. The city documents reference a goal to bring a wider demographic to the 6th Street District and begin to help change the character of the street. A potential pilot program listed in the documents would allow businesses in the 200 and 500 blocks of the street to use sidewalk or parking lane space for seating, dining, or live music. Another recommendation recommendation in the documents includes providing designated ride share space for pickup and drop off. The goal there would be to reduce the chance of a traffic congestion and collision and crowds congregating after hours, potentially leading to violence.